So children at around age three actually treat all of the supernatural agents in their cultural context is about the same, even if the adults don't think that they're all very smart. And this was really shown nicely in a study that Nicola Knight and I did um, with Mayan children uh, on the Yucatan Peninsula. We not only investigated what uh, their view of the Catholic God was, but also the sun god and the forest spirits and some other sort of minor deities who the adults don't regard as particularly smart or clever. But the young children treated them all as super smart. They know everything. And then with age, by the time they're about seven years old, they're actually starting to discriminate amongst all of these different agents. Um, which ones are the smart ones? Which ones don't know so much? <laughs> which ones really are, are even dumber than people? And they start discriminating that already by age seven. While there is developmental support for the idea that, um, uh, that there is this creator God that's super powerful and super knowing and immortal, it doesn't mean that children are naturally believe in only one God or believe in God of the Christian tradition or something like that. That's not the case. They just have an amazing conceptual receptivity to it as if it's sort of just waiting for the right cultural input to sort of be locked in there. But that doesn't mean they're going to believe in one and only one God. In fact, it looks like we humans are naturally predisposed to think about lots of different supernatural beings. And I mean, that's even true in the monotheisms, right? In Christianity, we have the saints and we have angels and some of us believe in other kinds of spirits.